Hello, I'm here to talk about the tongue worm, otherwise known as Linguatula serrata. Okay, so the length of El serrata varies between male and female. Males are about three quarters of an inch. Females are larger, being around three and three quarters of an inch. Both males and females are required to mate for reproduction. Males tend to choose females that are closer to their size. Females live for around two years and produce millions of eggs. Okay, these parasites' definitive hosts are canids, most commonly dogs and foxes. Their intermediate hosts are cattle, sheep, goats, camels, and rabbits. The life cycle of El Cerrado goes between the definitive host to the intermediate host then back again. Within the cycle, let's start with an infected direct host. The direct host will either cough or poop out the parasite eggs. Then, if the intermediate host is within the vicinity of the cough or eats from the soil that was infected by the poop, they will be infected with the L. serrata eggs. The eggs then hatch and break through the host's intestinal wall and the cyst forms in either the lungs, liver, or lymph nodes. The definitive host then eats the raw meat of the intermediate host and the cyst breaks in the stomach, where the parasite then crawls up the esophagus and embeds its forebody into the nasal tract and feeds on blood and other fluids. The condition of being infected by El Cerrata is called linguatosis. In humans, the accidental hosts, within minutes or hours after being initially infected, symptoms may arise as pain and itching of the throat and ears, headaches, vomiting, and occasionally loss of hearing. Symptoms usually subside within 7 to 10 days, but complications may occur. In most cases, larvae inside humans don't mature and are eliminated within 3 weeks. Infections in other locations, such as the eye, have been observed. No diseases are known to be spread by El Cerrata. El Cerrata is primarily found in the Middle East, but can be found worldwide in much rarer cases. El Cerrata can occur year-round, but happens most often during spring and summer. The best prevention of El Cerrata is achieved by fully cooking all important meat and having good sanitation. You can take antihistamines to stop the symptoms, and in more extreme cases, surgery is required to remove the parasites.